But all your information's just on here. Hey! How was the hen? Yeah, it was a disaster. No. Why? Don't worry, you'll still get paid. Well, is there anything that I can do to help? Yes, mind your own business. Here she is. Champagne. Already? Might as well start as we mean to go on. Has Benny's been down for breakfast? I expect she'll want it in bed. Don't want to jinx anything, do we? Where did you get to last night? I was expecting you home before I went to bed. Mm, an impromptu night on the tiles, courtesy of my new extended family. Where was my invite? Ah, the lack of it was a blessing, believe me. It's the hair of the dog, then. Yes, and some. Dad, I feel terrible. You've brought all this forward because of me, and if it's too much of a rush, you just have to say... It's happening today, Mum. Yes, well, it doesn't have to. If we put it back, Rebecca could come, and, and some of your friends who said it was too short notice. The marquee is up, the champagne is on ice, and I've got the most beautiful fiancé a man could ask for. Thank you for worrying, Chrissy. but today is great. Today will be perfect. Mm. For that reason, Bernice and I would like to thank all the members. No, for that reason, my wife and I would like to thank... Oh, <laughs> you caught me. Still haven't got it memorised yet. You look lovely. Oh, do you think Bernice will agree? <sighs> it's a strange feeling, doing all this again. It's been such a long time since I was the nervous groom. <laughs> you do know, though, that none of this takes away from what your mother and I had. Yeah, of course I do. It can't have been easy. But it means such a lot to me, how you've welcomed in Bernice. Hmm? Dad, I... I don't think she's coming. She left the party yesterday before it even really started. <laughs> Why would that mean anything? Because I went looking for her. Ah, uh, don't tell me you two have had a falling out. <laughs> she didn't see me, but I saw her. She... she was kissing Andy. I'm so sorry, Dad. Checked her room just now and she's not there. Oh, I, I don't think she came home. Doesn't mean anything happened. A kiss happened. It's not hard to imagine what came after. The imagination proves nothing. I prefer to wait for the facts. Does, uh, does Nicola know where she is? No. I heard her leaving a message, so I think she's as clueless as I am. I didn't want to tell you. I was hoping she'd tell you herself, but, um... The time was ticking. I understand. At least you know now. Not months after the fact, like me. At least you haven't married her. No. But I start ringing people, tell them not to come. I need to think. No, I know, it's just that I... Chrissy. I need a minute. Here comes the bride. Where's your dad? Headache passed, does it? Not quite. I feel wretched, actually. Maybe it was something you ate, like Andy's face. I saw you both kissing last night. Were you going to tell my dad, or did you think you could just stroll in here and marry him anyway? I'm guessing you've beaten me to it. Yes. told me. I'm so sorry. I, uh, I think we should talk in private. There's nothing to talk about. The wedding's off. Why don't you come back tomorrow and pick up your things? All right. Where's Gabby? She's upstairs with Angel and Rodney and that's where she'll stay. You're coming with me. Dad, don't give her a second chance. She's my cheating fiancé. Thank you, Chrissy, not yours.